what you confess is what you possess. The power of tongue. There is power in our tongue. There is a command in our voices. Our voices is our life. I cannot tell you how it happened or how it was made. But it is what we, we, we live with. Understanding that there is a power, power in our tongue. What we make request of, what we confess, what we, we, we react to, it comes from a voice. It comes from a tongue, a power of our tongue. That's a spiritual power also. I cannot tell you how that happened. I neither can I tell you the, the formula for it. But all I can tell you is to kind of pay attention to it. Pay attention to your voices. Pay attention to what happened. When you confess something, it seems you possess it. When you voice something out, it seems people react to it. People react to your voice. They react to your command. They react to your request. The power of our tongue. That's the power to our tongue. So I am saying today that we should all be careful of what we confess to ourselves. We should all be careful, careful of what you say to ourselves. Say something great to yourself. Bless yourself. Break yourself up. Empower yourself. Don't confess negative things to yourself because everything, negative things might happen. There's a power in our voices. Even let us look at it from the, from the, from the perspective of physical. When you choose to say something, people react to it. People had heard to it. People, people, people do what you say. They, 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 they give in for your command. Likewise, if you can imagine that in a spiritual realm, when we say something, it comes to pass. As a matter of fact, in the spiritual realm, in the Bible, the Bible made us understand that in the beginning of this earth, God said, let there be be light. And it was light. There's a voice, a tongue, and a power that followed it. There's a power behind our confession. There's a power behind our demand. There's a power behind our requirement. So what I'm saying today is as much as we see things as it is, we should also see it that is beyond our understanding. That our tongue, our voices, it has a spiritual connotation. There's a spiritual connotation to it. I cannot explain it to you. I can't tell you. There's no formula that I have. And I cannot tell you how the scientists or when the scientists have proven that. It is not a scientific thing. It's, it's attention to ourselves as a spiritual being, as people. We have to understand this. You're looking at me right now. You cannot see me. All you see is this image, a container that houses my spirit. You cannot see my spirit. You cannot see it. And you can only see my face, the container, the identity to recognize my spirit, to recognize me. Neither can you see voices. You cannot see voices. When the tongue brings out that voice, you can't see it. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's existing. A power, a spiritual power on our voices, on our tongue. So be careful. It is my advice, my opinion for us to be careful of what we confess to ourselves. Because what you confess might come to existence. Confess great things. Empower yourself. Bless yourself. Elevate yourself. Bring yourself up. Say great things about yourself because it will come to existence. I'm just thinking I should just bring this out. It's not because of anything, but it is for us to also see our spiritual side, our spiritual aspect, because we are all spiritual. We are spiritual. We just didn't pay attention to it. Maybe we didn't know it, but we are. Because the real us 
His spirit. That's why when someone passed away, we said, he has gone. But the body is still there. We can see the body. But we said he's gone. Because his spirit has departed. So we cannot see ourselves. Neither can we understand the power behind our tongue. There's a spiritual connotation to it. Pay attention to it. Let's develop, develop ourselves. Let's say great things to ourselves. Let's confess amazing things to our life. Our voices are our life. The power, the connotation of our tongue. This is my talk today. This is my opinion today. That we should all be careful of what we confess to ourselves. We will be great in life. I will be great in life. Say that to yourself. See what happens. It comes to existence. The power, the spiritual power to our voices, the spiritual power to our tongue. That is my discussion today. And I hope you understand it as I presented it. I would like to read your comment. If this is the first time on this channel, welcome to my web space. This is where we empower ourselves financially, spiritually, all around. We bring different content from different aspects of life to add value to ourselves. This is what we launched this platform for. Because we think, we believe in sharing, we believe in community to empower ourselves. I am making a request to you today. If this is your first time, or if it's, this is not your first time, but you have not subscribed yet, I would like you to subscribe to this channel. I would like you to share this video. I would like you to comment. This is my opinion. I would like to read your opinion also. I want to see what you have to, to add to it or possibly something you think we should take out of it. Let me read your comment. Empower me also. I'm trying my best to empower us as I see his fit, as are my own opinion. But remember, nobody knows it all. We all seem to know it all. That's why we need to interact and bounce things you know, of each other so that we can all have value to one another together. We can all attain our, our goal together. Subscribe to this channel. Share this video. And I see if we continue to do this, we will see how great we all can go together. Until I see you in the next video. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.